Good morning, guys. Welcome to day 13 of quarantine school. I'm Mr. Fields. I'll be your teacher for the rest of the year. In case you didn't catch my last video, maybe go back and take a look at that. Um, I'm trying to introduce myself so you guys know a little bit more about me. Uh, I saw a lot of you guys checked out that video. Um, let's move forward. So uh, I'm doing the numbers in the last day, and I see that I have 170 students on my roster but only 167 are logged into my, the Google Classroom Mega Classroom. And I don't know which ones are missing, so I'm gonna have to do some calculations and figure that out. Um, yeah, uh, student questionnaire responses. I've got 135 responses, which means there's still about 30 of you who have not responded. And sectionalism questions, I've got 83 responses, which means you guys need a little more time with that. So I'll give you a little more time with that before I start going over those answers, but I'm already taking a look and I see uh, some weaknesses. I'll talk about those in a couple of minutes. Uh, your priorities for today, make sure you log into Schoology. We can already tell who's been logging in, who's not, and if you're not logging into Schoology in Google Classroom every day, I'm going to um, contact your parents and say, hey, what's up with that, because uh, that's how we keep attendance. Uh, complete the student questionnaire. Like I said, there's 30 of you left who need to complete that questionnaire. And then the causes of sectionalism. You need to um, answer those 10 questions. These are not for a grade. Um, do not try to look them up. If you just go off the top of your head and you're like, I have no idea what that means, that's fine. I, I really want to know so I can go back and I can review that with you and uh, create a video lecture for that to dial in a little bit more detail so you understand that. Uh, so if it's taking you a long time because you're trying to look these up, don't worry about it. Um, that said, you should be able to write more than two or three words. Some of the responses were pretty brief. Um, don't feel bad if that's all you can get, but that just tells me that, uh, for example, one of those responses was on compromise, and uh, some people were leaving two or three word responses, which means that that's an area that we will go back over later, like maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm not giving you another assignment today, uh, but I am so I am concerned that you were so quick with the student questionnaire, but not with the sectionalism. That tells me either a little bit about your division of time or how much effort you're putting into uh, getting it completed. And these are assignments. I want you to pr pretend like we're doing class every day, and so you want to complete something for this class every day. It shouldn't take you that long, though. It's not like a full class period of work. Uh, I do have access to Schoology now, and I've started setting up classes. I sent an email out to your parents yesterday, and I see a number of them have already set up Schoology accounts, so they're they're connected to your account, so they can see what you're what you've been up to, up to. Um, unfortunately, in the meantime, I've also lost access to Clever, and therefore my access to McGraw Hill. Uh, that is going to be a big deal because that's going to be how I issue digital assignments in the book for your inquiry journal. Uh, that was one of the questions that somebody was asking, uh, do we need to log into the online textbook if we have one at home? Yes, but not yet. Once I get access to McGraw-Hill Online myself, then I'll be able to issue assignments and you can turn in questions for your inquiry notebook online. Uh, I don't have access to any of your old inquiry notebooks. Unfortunately, everything is still in the classroom. It is still in the classroom, right? All right, moving on. Other questions, will we have quizzes and tests during online school? Yes, but it's gonna look a little bit different than you're used to. Um, for example, there will probably be fewer multiple choice questions and more written responses that try to incorporate things that would have been a multiple choice response. Um, I don't want you to be able to just Google the answer. Now, will I be able to prevent you from Googling the answer? Of course not, because you're in uh, your own home, you're in an online environment, and you have that power at your fingertips. I'm gonna to have to trust you that you're going to work on that. And if your answers look suspicious, and I know how to spot suspicious answers pretty well, uh, I will be talking to your parents about how seriously you're taking this education. Um, Last video I said we'd have a Zoom the Monday after break, but I realize now that we have a Tuesday uh, after break. So um, during my office hours, um, 
between one and three, we'll have some type of um, conference call on Zoom and just to get to know you, see your faces and everything. Um, reading more and more about your questionnaire about things that you guys are proud of and questions you have about the class. I'll talk more about those tomorrow. All right, stay, stay safe, stay healthy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.